Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to be talking about receiving firmware updates on your Honeywell Home Tuxedo keypad. Um, this also applies to the Residio Tuxedo keypad, any of the new keypads that look like this one right here. So uh, firmware updates, um, they're, they're applied to the Tuxedo to uh, provide new features, to fix any issues, and uh, to make general improvements in using the, the keypad. Um, they are applied automatically and they are pushed down from the uh, Residio AlarmNet servers. Um, so you have to have the Tuxedo connected to a Wi-Fi network uh, because that's the only way it can receive IP connectivity, IP being internet protocol. Um, so like I said, uh, you get the firmware updates for general improvements, um, adding new features. If they, if they were to release something new, um, then they would receive a firmware update. Uh, critical firmware updates are pushed down to the keypad automatically. Um, they're just automatically sent down. Um, you don't get a prompt uh, when a critical firmware update is being performed, um, but uh, you will have the Tuxedo reboot about 15 seconds after the firmware update is sent down. So um, that's uh, one thing that will happen when uh, there is a firmware update that is applied to the Tuxedo. Um, but you do need to make sure that you have uh, firmware updates enabled on the keypad. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. If you don't have the firmware updates enabled, then they won't get pushed down. Uh, and there are a few other things that you also want to check, but I'll go over those in a little bit. But the thing you want to look at um, to make sure that you um, are able to receive automatic um, over-the-air firmware updates, OTA, over-the-air. Um, so we're at the main screen of the Tuxedo. And we'll press the gear icon, the settings icon at the bottom. And we'll choose System Info. And then you see Enable Remote Upgrade. And we have the box checked, which means we'll be receiving firmware updates, assuming that the system's good and we're, um, we have everything else, um, all the requirements met, and that there is a firmware update available. Um, firmware updates are only released periodically. Um, you don't see them all too often. Um, often once a product gets settled down and they get most of the kinks out of it and the, the features out of the way, you, you, you'll rarely see some updates, but you, you should keep an eye out for them. Uh, we'll, we'll post about them on our blog and uh, keep you updated um, if there are any important firmware updates for your tuxedo. But just know that you do want to keep this Enable Remote up, um, Upgrade enable remote upgrade uh, box checked. Um, just keep that there, and then that way you'll be ready to receive uh, firmware updates. So once you have that, you can just press the Home icon in the upper right corner and go back to the home screen. So that's good. That setting will be automatically saved. We didn't change it. Uh, we already had it enabled. But if you do change it, then um, it's just a little toggle box. Um, then uh, you, it'll, it'll automatically be saved when you exit. Um, now, so there are a few things to keep in mind to make sure that you do receive firmware updates. Uh, first of all, like I said, you have to have the tuxedo connected to the Wi-Fi network. Uh, that's how it communicates with the AlarmNet servers. So that way, the firmware updates can be pushed down to the keypad. If it's not connected to Wi-Fi, then you'll want to go and connect it to a Wi-Fi network. Um, we have a different video that tells you how to do that. Um, pretty simple. Um, but that's the only way it can receive um, updates. Um, remember, the Tuxedo is not a communicator on behalf of the Vista system. Um, it's, it's just communicating with the AlarmNet servers across Wi-Fi for relaying Z-Wave automation commands and receiving the firmware updates, and also for getting the weather forecast in the upper right corner there, that you can see on the main screen there. Um, some other things you want to check. Um, if the Tuxedo is connected with a, a Honeywell Vista system, which in most cases it is because you're using it as a keypad controller for your Vista system, then the Vista system will need to be disarmed. Uh, there should not be any faulted zones, and there should be no trouble conditions. So something like um, a low battery, um, AC power loss. Um, if, if there is um, uh, just any trouble condition, you'll, you'll want to go ahead and fix that to clear the trouble condition so that way um, the firmware updates can be sent down. Uh, there should be no zones in alarm memory. Uh, make sure to clear any latched alarms. Um, no, if there are zones in alarm memory, then uh, the firmware update will not be pushed down. Um, there should not be a low battery on the Vista system. Uh, you should have, um, uh, you can see on ours, we don't have any low battery message. Um, we have a good battery. We're, we're plugged into uh, AC power, um, transform power. So uh, we would be ready to receive the firmware update. Uh, the firmware update will not be sent down if the system's currently in programming mode, uh, whether that's console mode on the Tuxedo or you go into um, uh, installer programming. Um, if, you're, if you leave the system in that mode, then a firmware update cannot be sent down. Um, you can't receive a firmware update if there is an ECP error. Um, that's, that's basically a communication error. Um, so uh, make sure the wires are connected um, between the Tuxedo and the Vista panel. Like I said, an ECP error 
uh, will result in no firmware update. So make sure to fix an EZP error if uh, there is one. And uh, lastly, if the tuxedo is in demo mode or safe mode, then a firmware update cannot be sent down. So uh, just keep it in its standard mode. And uh, that's how you'll be able to receive a firmware update. Uh, so that covers important information for firmware updates for uh, Honeywell Home Tuxedo Keypad. Uh, remember, these are for um, making improvements to the keypad, for potentially adding new features, and uh, potentially uh, making some fixes, uh, correcting some bugs. So that way, the keypad provides the best user experience possible. If you have any questions about the Tuxedo or Honeywell Vista systems or alarm monitoring, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below if you liked the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.